tag that metal head right under the surface. Thought there might be some fish up top. Right there. Oh man, what a gorgeous fish. Whew. <laughs> oh man. We weren't sure. We weren't sure how well this uh this new fly was gonna work, but I can tell you it works pretty dang good. Ooh. Look at that dude. <laughs> oh I'm gonna pop him on the head and show him to you. I'll show you that fly too. And that fills me out. I'm limited out. What a fish. What a way to look at that amazing fish on the metal head, man. We were going like I don't know, 2.2 miles an hour. I was just trying to get back to the ramp in this wind, and I decided, well, I'll reel in my lead core and just run that metal head on the top shot. So it might have been six, 10 inches under the surface, maybe just on a flat line. And uh, man, that guy just just nailed that thing. He wasn't getting away, that's for sure. So what a way to end my trip to Lake Davis. What a beautiful fish. That is just totally awesome, man. And uh, hey, I got a brand new fly to to try all over Northern California now. That thing trolls fast, it vibrates a ton, and uh, it is just a fish catcher. Anyway, do you want to rock? If you do, get yourself some metal heads and get your fish on. The metal head is the most advanced trolling fly on the market. It is a fly designed to troll fast. Get a kit today at fishhuntshoot.com and you'll be yelling, fish on tomorrow. Howdy guys, I'm Kel Kellogg. And these are metal heads. These are the most advanced trolling flies on the market because they're designed to be trolled quickly. Um, and you know me, I like to troll fast, I like to be aggressive, but I also love to troll flies. And conventional wisdom tells us, you know, fly trolling speed is anywhere from one to one and a half miles an hour, maybe up to 1.8, but that's about it. Now, I've been experimenting with higher speeds and I've been catching a lot of fish trolling flies faster, but one of the problems I've been having is that the flies tend to start rolling. They'll still catch fish, but I don't really want them rolling. You know, sometimes I do, but most often I want that fly to track true. So that's where my search began, and this is where my search ended. Let me show you one of these up close. This is the one you saw me fishing with at Lake Davis. This is my orange on orange metal head, and as you can see, it has a full metal head and a prominent eye. It's also very compact. Now, if you troll these at conventional trolling speeds, it has an erratic action and it's gonna walk left to right, you know, say at 1.5 miles an hour, all the way down to one mile an hour if you're pairing it with the wiggle disc. Um, but if you push that speed up beyond 1.8, that walking will stop. The, the fly will start to track very straight and it will exhibit an intense vibration. You can kind of think of it as a, as a rattle trap type action out of a fly. Intense wobble, intense vibration, something that you control at 2, 2.2, 2.4, something that you can put on one rod while you're trolling say a trigger spoon on another rod. So this is a fly that you control at spoon speeds and uh, still be very effective on the fish. We're offering these flies in a kit of eight flies and four wiggle discs, two brightly colored wiggle discs, two uh, clear wiggle discs. You could pair them with the wiggle discs, but because of the weight in that head, you can also top line these right under the surface effectively too. So pretty versatile, but uh, once again, they shine when you push that speed up above 1.5, above 1.8, and really get them moving through the water. And when they're paired with that wiggle disc, you're gonna get that intense fish attracting vibration. Let's look at the kit. They come in eight fly kits. Um, right now I have limited numbers. I've ordered more, but in this COVID-19 crisis, you just don't know when stuff's going to arrive, if it's ever going to arrive. And I had to jump through some pretty significant hoops just to put this kit together. So let's look at the colors. First one right here. This is for low light conditions, especially effective on brown trout. This is our black and green themed metal head. Next in line is our very brightly colored pink and purple metal head. Next, I call this one the Halloween color because it is orange and black. Um, 
pretty pretty intriguing color combination. I haven't run this one much, but I think that's going to be very effective. You know me, I love black lures, I love orange lures. When you combine orange and black, it's got to be a winner, right? Um, next in line, we have another black themed metal head. This one is black and red. Again, low light conditions, overcast days, in situations where there's brown trout around, very effective. We've got the orange one, orange on orange, you've already seen that. Saw that one in a fish's mouth, a nice fish's mouth. We've got a brown and green tinsel metal head. And we've got this bait fish pattern metal head. And I think I caught some fish on this at Davis, but I think this one is really going to shine at places where the fish feed predominantly on bait fish. It is pink and white. It's got that silver head. Um, just a great bait fish imitation. Again, trolled us at 2, 2.2. When those fish are in an aggressive mindset, they're chasing bait, they're chasing shad, they're chasing pond smell. They're going to chase this down, and uh, you're going you're to get that tug on the end of your line. And to round out that eight fly kit, We've got this metalhead crawfish imitation. This is a killer on browns, rainbows, and Mackinac. You want to troll it along the bottom. Anytime you suspect a trout are feeding on crawfish, this is a winner. If you're up in the Sierra Lake, pair this with your lead core, get it down here within a couple feet of the bottom, troll it along quickly, draw those reaction strikes from fish that are down there lurking among the, among the rocks, looking to eat crawfish. So, once again, if you go over to fishhuntshoot.com and grab a set of my metal head trolling flies, you're going to get eight total flies, four wiggle discs, and you are going to be ready to go fast and aggressive this fall when you want to pull flies for aggressive trout, when you want to bump up the speed, maybe pair, pair flies with a Rapala or a spoon, a trigger spoon, something like that, you're going to be all set to yell fish on. Again, I have limited numbers of these. I don't know when more are going to be in stock. I know they're going to sell out right away. So if you're into fly trolling, you want to troll quickly, jump on over to fishhuntshoot.com, go into the store, and nail down your set of metal heads today. Um, in closing, I want to thank you guys for all the support. If it wasn't for you guys, we wouldn't be able to do this. We wouldn't have, a, have an awesome, successful YouTube channel like we have. I'm signing off for now. You guys have a great day. Get your metal heads. Get ready to rock. Get ready to yell fish on. I'm Kel Kellogg, and I will see you soon.